Hi, uh, a very good question. Uh, in this question, it is given that Gopal borrowed 1 lakh rupee from a bank at a 10% uh, per annum rate of compound interest and cleared the debt in 5 years. Uh, but in this case, the installments uh, that he paid at the end of each and every year are different. And we have to find out the first installment uh, uh, that he paid. So the remaining 4 installments were given and we need to find out the first installment. So for this question, the best way to solve is uh, by going backwards. So this is the best way of solving this question. Uh, what we can do here is, uh, he paid 44,000 as a last installment, that means as a fifth installment and he cleared the debt, right? So we will do like this. So the last installment, uh, he paid 44,000, right? And he cleared the debt. That means the amount to be paid at the end of the fifth year should be 44,000. Then he cleared the debt. That means 44,000 minus 44,000 will give you zero. Now, uh, at the beginning of the fifth year, what could be the principal that we need to calculate? So the principal amount into 1 plus R by 100 will give you 44,000. Here, 1 plus R by 100 means 1 plus 10 by 100 because the rate of interest is 10 percent. That means uh, here, this principal has to be multiplied by 11 by 10 because 1 plus 10 by 100 will give you 11 by 10. So once you multiply this principal by 11 by 10, you got 44,000, right? That is the amount to be paid at the end of the fifth year. That means what could be the principal at the beginning of the year? That means uh, 44,000 multiplied by 10 by 11, right? So we need to do the reverse calculation because you have to multiply this amount by 11 by 10, you got this value. So to get the original value, you need to multiply 44,000 by 10 by 11. That means which will give you 11 goes uh, 4 times here, so 4,000. So that means you got 40,000 here. That means 40,000 became 44,000 at the end of the fifth year and he paid 44,000 to clear the debt. Now this 40,000 principal at the beginning of the fifth year after he paid 21,600 at the end of the fourth year, right? That means he paid 21,600 at the end of the fourth year. That means what is the total amount to be paid at the end of the fourth year? The principal at the beginning of the fifth year plus the installment amount paid. Therefore, the amount to be paid at the end of the fourth year should be 21,600 plus 40,000, which will give you 61,600. Now, this is the amount to be paid at the end of the fourth year. But what could be the value of this amount at the beginning of the year? So, we multiplied uh, the principal by 11 by 10 to got this value. So, to find the initial value, we need to do the reverse calculation. So, 61,600 into 10 by 11. So, this will give you 11 goes uh, 5 times here, 55, 11 goes 6 times. That means 56,000. So, 56,000 is the total principal amount at the beginning of the year, right? So, this is the amount which we already paid how much? Uh, 18,800. So, after we paid 18,800, that principal became 56,000. That means, what is the total amount at the end of the third year? So, 56,000 plus 18,800. So, 56,000 plus 10,000 will give you 66,000. 66,000 plus 8,000 will give you 74,000. 74,000 plus 800, 74,800. So this is the total amount at the end of the third year that has to be paid to clear the debt. Now, what is the principal amount of this value? So that we need to calculate. Again, we need to multiply this value by 10 by 11 to get the principal value at the beginning of the third year. That means 74,800 into 10 by 11. So 11 goes how many times? 6 times here. So 800, therefore 68,000. So 68,000 is the principal amount at the beginning of the third year. Now, uh, the 68,000 at the beginning of the year, after he paid how much? 20,000 at the end of the second year, right? So that I am calculating here. That means uh, he <clears throat> paid 20,000, paid 20,000 and the amount became 68,000. That means the amount at the uh, end of the uh, end of or second, 
So this is the third year starting, right? So at the end of the second year will be 20,000 plus 68,000. That will become 88,000. So 88,000 is the amount to be paid at the end of the second year. So what could be the value of uh, at the of this amount at the beginning of the year that we need to calculate? Again, we need to multiply 88,000 into 10 by 11, right? So 10 by 11. So which will give you 80,000. So this is simple calculation. Now. So this is the amount at the beginning of the year and we need to calculate how much he paid at the end of the first year. So the total loan borrowed is 1 lakh. So this 1 lakh rupee at the rate of 10% that means uh, we need to multiply it by 11 by 10 which will become 1 lakh 10,000 at the end of the first year, right? Now after paying something here that principal became 80,000. So how much he paid? 1,10,000 minus 80,000. That means he must have paid 30,000 at the end of the first year. So this is the amount that we need to calculate. So once he paid 30,000, the principal for the beginning of the second year will become 80,000. So 80,000 at the rate of 10% will become 88,000. Then he paid 20,000. So the principal for the beginning of the third year will become 68,000. 68,000. 68,000 will become 74,800 at the end of the third year. Then he paid 18,800. So then the principal became 56,000. 56,000 at the end of the fourth year became 61,600. So once we paid 21,600, the principal for the fifth year became 40,000. So 40,000 at the end of the fifth year became 44,000 at the rate of 10%. Then we paid 44,000 to clear the debt. That means uh, the Gopal has to pay 30, has to pay sorry 30,000 as a first installment uh, to clear the debt. Right? This is the solution for this question.